Okay, so today what we're doing is we're going through some of my favorite tone models on the Tonex that I've found so far, and also going through the quad cortex captures that I've created for these to bring them over into the quad cortex. I don't think this is something I'm going to do a lot, but it's something I wanted to try out just to get a feel for how that transfer would go. So to start off with, there's a couple bad cat amp tone models that I found that I like. You know, one's clean and one's a crunch. So this clean one is based on a Cub 30R. Just kind of a nice pure clean. And the other one is this Tim Pierce Crunch, which is also a bad cat. Just kind of a nice thick drive tone, a good amount of presence to it, but not overly harsh. So I like those quite a bit. And so let's jump over to the quad cortex and we'll check out the captures and see if it did a good job of capturing them. Okay, so I've got this preset set up with the tone X captures of the bad cats. And you can see we have two captures here. One is the clean and one is the crunch. So both of these, I'm capturing the full tone X tone model, meaning it's got the cab included in everything. I could have captured them without the cab, but I wanted to kind of try to replicate that Tonex sound onto here. And then I've got a preset set up where I'm adding in a couple effects, a, a couple of pe pedals on the front, maybe a compressor. So really trying to build some tones around those. But let's check out the captures kind of on their own. So this one is the clean. And all I've got is some delay and reverb on the end. Usually I would add a chorus onto that. So I think it works pretty well. They add some compression on the front of it. takes a drive pedal pretty well as well. And then I have one that just has a flanger with that drive pedal. So that's the clean one. For the crunch, I've actually got it running in two different ways. One is I'm pulling back the gain on this a little bit to have a little bit lighter of a crunch. And then I've got one where I've got all the gain from the capture. And then I have a couple scenes where I am throwing some drive pedals in front just to get kind of a more of a singing lead. So here's one where I'm using the lower gain version of the capture and I'm putting the OD1 in front of it. And 
this one, I am using the full gain on the capture and putting a capture of an archer icon, so like a clon pedal. <laughs> So I think they work pretty well, and I think they're good flexible captures for kind of building some tones around. So let's check out some other tone models that I found for two rock amps that I'm liking as well. Some of the other tone models that I found on the Tonex that I'm liking is some two rock amps. So this first one is an OD50 set to kind of a clean setting. <laughs> Again, just a nice clean, maybe a little warmer than the Bad Cat is, a little more mids to it, kind of in that OD50 double kind of style. And then there's this Two Rock CR2. So it's a classic reverb. This is on a drive setting, and it's actually got quite a bit of drive. I did use my own IR for this one. <laughs> that dumble drive thing going on. Maybe with a little more edge, a little more bite. The other drive one I found is this Two Rock Bloom, which has a little less gain, um, but it has a little more warmth to it. So I captured all three of these on my quad quartet. Let's go ahead and jump over to those captures and check them out. So this is the preset I've set up for the two rock captures. So let's check out the captures. We've got the OD50 Clean, we've got the Bloom Crunch, and the CR2 Crunch. You can see I've got the OD50 Clean both in a coarse version and a compressed version. I've got the Bloom on its own, a Bloom with a little more gain. I've got some flange on that, and then a lead. So I've got a drive pedal on the front, and then I've got the CR2 both in kind of on his pure form and the lead. So let's check out the clean. Let's go ahead and turn off the chorus for right now, just so we can hear it on its own. Here's the OD50 when it's compressed. The nice thing about the OD50, you can kind of hear it here. There's a little bit of grit there if you dig in. For the bloom, Again, with this one, I'm pulling the gain back just a little bit. And we can flange that a little bit. This one, I'm just pumping up the gain just a little bit. And then on this 
this one, I've got the compressor and the OD-1 in front of it. And then the CR-2 has kind of a lot more edge to it. a little more top end bite to it and we kick that with the same lead here I'm just putting a compressor on the front so it's a good flexible tones kind of from these captures as always, these presets along with the captures are going to be on my Cortex Cloud account. Grab them and play around with these new captures. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.